Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how to make some very simple meatloaf. Super simple. Very basic ingredients. Now you might think that this beer, this is beer, is for drinking. Well it is. But we're also going to use it for making the meatloaf. Something new. I'm going to try something different. I haven't tried this one yet. So we'll see how it comes out. I chopped up um, garlic, two cloves of garlic, a half a huge onion, and three stalks of celery. And I have Italian uh, parsley here and some cilantro that I'm going to throw in there as well. Um, we've got some diced tomatoes and grilled green chilies. We've got some leftover rice um, seasoned. Uh, we've got oregano, basil, and um, black pepper. So we're going to just toss it all together and make our meatloaf. Here we go. All right. First, I'm going to throw in all the vegetables, except for my parsley and whatnot. the neatest person in the world. Okay, then I'm going to chop up some of my uh, Italian parsley and cilantro. You put in what you think you might like as far as taste. Because uh, cilantro can be a little overpowering. Not everybody likes it. We like it. So I'm just going to just put in maybe about four or five of the fresh um, stalks of the, the parsley and cilantro. Okay, I'm just tossing in the can. I think it's a 12 ounce can of tomato and green chili. We're just not cooperating. Okay, good enough. Then I want to just go ahead and throw in some oregano. Looks like about maybe a little bit over a teaspoon. Some basil, about the same, about a teaspoon or so. And some crispy brown black pepper. Now my husband doesn't like brown black pepper too much, so I don't put too much in. But it really does taste really good. Okay, we've got a few things here. Okay, let's take a step. Mm -hmm. mm. I hate to put all that into my recipe, so I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm just going to put in maybe half of them. Because there's plenty of liquid that we got from the tomatoes, and there's plenty um, that's kind of liquidy in this uh, mixture here of uh, rice. So I'm not going to put all of it in. I put maybe a cup of it in. Okay? And then just basically mix it all together. Now, those of you who are kind of squeamish about putting your hands into this, I guess you can use a, a tool like this to get it all mixed together, but I can't work that way. I need to get my hands in there. My hands are clean. Now, the rice is going to soak up all of this liquid in here. Okay, so we just keep mixing and mixing and mixing. See it all mixing together. All of it smells really nice. I get to smell all the parsley and the cilantro and the tomatoes and the green chili. I don't smell any beer. What's with that? Okay, about done. I just want to make sure everything's kind of mixed well together. And then you form it and throw it in into um, your, your pan here. And see how liquidy? I mean, see that texture there? Well, a lot of that, it's a lot of liquid, but believe me, it's going to just evaporate and cook right into the meat mixture uh, as it bakes. Okay? So we take that and I, I pretty much dump it. And then I start 
performance. I'm not Julia Child, where she makes hers come out really gorgeous. Mine's just a, a block. Okay, so that's it. We're going to bake it. And uh, I, I usually go about 325 to 375. Um, but you can go higher. It's just because my oven, I know that it's going to, that's what the correct baking temperature is usually at. Okay, so good luck with yours. I'll let you know how ours turns out.